It's only game. Why you have to be mad? What is up, heroes of Dominion? My name is Charlie. This is Hero Wars Central, and I want to talk about our beloved starter tanks, how two of them are getting ascension skills, and why I hope that the third one is as well. Let's start with our boy Galahad. Now, all things are pointing at this archdemon lore event happening in a few days it was teased over on the hero wars facebook and web official facebook page the 15th through the 19th is very likely when it's going to happen now this hasn't been officially announced yet on dominion era the facebook and web version but on the hero wars alliance the mobile version of the game these three heroes are getting thunder skins very soon and it seems like it has to do with the archdemon event on mobile so i'm inferring that they will have these three skins coming to uh, hero wars dominion era on the 15th as well as likely when these ascension skills are going to be arriving but i wanted to talk a little bit about my reactions to the two so far and uh, first let's start with galahad his passive is being slightly altered before we knew that the skill just added pure damage to the ultimate now it does the extra pure damage based on physical attack as well as 10 seconds after the ultimate all attacks and skills deal additional pure damage as well. So his damage output is going to go up considerably. And don't forget that Galahad is one of the few tanks that has vampirism. Of course, he's only 15% here, but my Galahad is pretty low. Once he's a lot higher, he's get pretty high vampirism. I'll go ahead and put on screen exactly how much he gets at max. So overall, he's going to be putting out a lot more damage, close range, area of effect damage as well. Pure damage, which means it can't be avoided, though the, ha the attack probably does have to hit so he'll still be weak against dodge teams aurora teams dante teams heidi that sort of thing but he's also getting two ascension skills one at rank two and at rank five ascension his charge that removes control effects and dealing damage to nearby enemies is being upgraded to proc every time the enemy closest to him uses an ultimate skill the closest enemy hit by the onslaught loses 30 percent of their energy i can see this being very interesting this is going to proc a lot against tanks primarily or heroes in the first position and and you see a lot of Dantes in that first position that ult a lot. So imagine every time Dante ults, Galahad is charging forward, which resets your team's positioning. You know, Dante does a lot of knockback with his spears, removing any control effects that are on him, and also reducing that Dante's energy by 30%. That seems like an incredibly effective move. A lot of tanks also rely on their ultimates to be uh, to be a decision maker in battle. Cleaver's hook, obviously Galahad. Astaroth's ult kind of sucks. Corvus's ult's pretty fantastic. So I can see this being super beneficial across the board. The Ascension rank 5 ability this is going to modify his ultimate skill now when he uses his ultimate it applies the retaliation on enemies with less than 50 percent health uh, max five each time i'm not 100 percent sure what this is referencing here but this performs a special move striking the enemy with the lowest health it looks like what's going to happen here is whenever he uses his ultimate it's going to hit an additional retaliation on any enemy that is below 50 percent instead of just the one enemy with the lowest health uh, on a timer this blue ability is on its own cooldown it does it whenever it wants to it's a nice little execute ability Galahad is going to be putting out some serious, serious amounts of physical and pure damage. You know, because remember, when he uses Iron Skies, he does pure damage with the ability, and then each skill and attack after that for the next 10 seconds deals pure damage as well. Galahad is going to be probably the most offensive tank, physical tank, I should say. Uh, I think that Corvus was slightly the best, but I think now Galahad may be the best <laughs> until Corvus gets his ascension skills at least. Now, Aurora isn't getting any of her skills reworked, but she is getting two uh, ascension skills. And I think a lot of people are going to be more excited about Aurora, but personally, Galahad is the one I think is winning out of these two. Uh, Rainbow Halo is the violet ability that absorbs magic damage. And then whenever it hits a certain uh, threshold, she explodes, damaging nearby enemies for the amount of magic damage absorbed. Pretty straightforward ability is really good magic damage against enemy lines but now it also absorbs 25 percent of the damage aurora has dodged she has to dodge and then the damage that she would have gotten if she had not dodged 25 percent of that is absorbed into the shield as well there are some questions about how exactly this is going to work it could work one of two ways and i'm not really going to get into the specifics of it too much because it has more to do with the backside mechanics of things but whenever it does go live we'll have plenty of people testing it i'm sure this is going to be great against dodge team so both galahad and aurora are getting some tools to assist in those dante lines a lot of people already have aurora leveled up you know she's one of the best tanks in the game i find her incredibly flimsy but i do have her basically maxed out so i might consider using her more often against the dante lines now the ascension rank 5 skill is 
is less good against Dante teams because Dante traditionally isn't in the middle of the enemy line. He's more in the front of the enemy line. Uh, Crystal of Soleus is the ultimate ability. She uses it. It hits a magic damage in the center of the enemy line and deals damage around them. Sometimes it hits the front and the back line. Sometimes it just hits that couple three heroes in the middle. The upgraded version of this Ascension Rank 5 required will leave behind a uh, thing for the next three seconds, kind of like Heidi's little flower that he leaves behind. And then each time the rainbow halo procs in those three seconds, it will deal additional damage around that crystal. I don't know if it's magic damage or pure damage. I'm assuming it's magic damage because that's what the rainbow halo does is magic damage. How often is that rainbow halo going to pop in that three second window? hard to say i think that both of these skills are good i think they're going to be somewhat impactful especially the ascension rake too but again i think the galahad skills are going to be way better and gala sad gala bad uh may not be so gala mad anymore he might just be you know the guy the, the main tank that people use on offense i'm kind of wishing that i had invested in him a little bit more uh, I will be probably leveling him up, uh, even though I do like Mushy and Shroom, I think a little bit more, and I already have three tanks leveled. Ugh, I just don't want to, I don't want to have to level up another tank. Now, it isn't clear if Astaroth is getting this upgrade yet, if he's getting Ascension skills yet. I don't know that he actually will. I know that there was a timeline earlier on in the year that talked about additional heroes getting Ascension skills. It might just be Galahad and Aurora. Hopefully it's all three. I think that Astaroth needed the rework more than Galahad. Maybe not as bad as Galahad did but certainly aurora was in a good place i don't think that she needed the ascension skills yet i'm happy that she's getting them of course but uh, uh, astaroth is my favorite of the three tanks and i hope that he does get those ascension skills as well because his ultimate is very weak and needs some tweaking just like galahad's did so i uh, hope everybody's having a great weekend i love you all good luck in dominion